What is going on? Let's see what we got going on here. Thanks, in love. Thank you, everybody. So, uh, you guys, hopefully this went live right after the uh, trailer. So, tell me what you guys uh, thought of the trailer. If anybody wants to jump on, if anybody wants to um, If anybody wants to jump on, let me know. I'll pull you in if you want to talk about stuff. Um, that'd be cool for me. Um, what did you guys think of the trailer? Inlow, great job. Thank you so much. By the way, Christopher Inlow plays the burnt Russian there in Siberia that is actually in the 1960s in, in Siberia, which is a pretty cool place. Um, what's up, Billy? What's going on? Movie dogs. Love you guys, man. Talking shit makes me want more. Holy cow. Cody Newton, by the way, is the... Um, director of photography he did an absolutely phenomenal job i mean i think anybody who watches that trailer what do you see amazing visuals amazing colors amazing lighting amazing characters that was all uh cody newton and his lenses and his cameras uh and about five percent my idea <laughs> my ideas i want more laugh give me the neon clown oh uh, you mean the reaper so so the peter collymore my character when he actually has like a transformation in the movie and he becomes the reaper um, and the Reaper is that when you see the, the, the pin dot black eyes, the UV eyes, the blood after he's done the drugs in the bathroom, that's the Reaper. Uh, that's the story of him now turned bad. He's a good guy trying to do the right thing. And too many things happen to him at once bad. And it flips him and turns him evil. And we, we have a name for that gentleman called the Reaper now. Um, oh, Lar Park Lincoln is on. What an honor, Lar. Thank you so much for sharing Thank you for, so much for, for all the support. I really, really appreciate it. Um, uh, yeah, also, the Indiegogo is live right now. Um, I, I didn't even get to finish, like, the pretty part of the page where we talk about the movie. So forgive me. I, I uh, As usual, I took on more than I can chew, but all the perks are there. I'm going to be adding two more huge perks. One of them is going to be B. One of the movie has a uh, flashback to Afghanistan as me as a soldier, um, and in that flashback, you can be one of the soldiers, uh, and you can die on screen. And then there's one where you're a major character on screen with me, uh, and you die around me in my arms with speaking lines. It's one of the more major role. It is the one of the largest Indiegogo roles that we have, and we will be in um, Boise, Idaho, which looks like Afghanistan with Cody Newton, and we will have all the real gear from Afghanistan, all the real guns. Uh, we'll be in a hut. It'll be a huge pivotal part of the movie that will be in the beginning and then again in the end. Um, so let's see. I can share this with you guys now. Right here, here's the Indiegogo, and I can pull some stuff up too. But like I said, I'm not, I'm not done yet. And Laura, thank you so much for loving it. I can't, I can't thank you enough. Um, anybody else have any comments or or anything? Uh, Cody, if you wanted to jump on, let me see if I can get Q to jump on with a little bit of a scene. Uh, that would be great. But let me know. But we, you know, we can try. I could try to share screen. I could probably, I could probably go to this Indiegogo. Let me try doing that first. So let's see if I can pull this miracle off, which I can never normally do. So let's try sharing screen. Which I present. Uh, share screen. And the screen will be the left. Let me go. Here we go. Let's see if I can take myself out. There you go. So the laugh Indiegogo, like I said, over here, this section over here on the left, I have not finished that, um, but the perks are up. The spe and there's a great video here that I put together thanking all you fans. And uh, there's a little clown right there uh, and Bryson and what this movie means to me and what you all mean to me. Um, that's probably the most emotional, heartfelt um, video I've ever made. And that's right on the Indiegogo page saying you know, what we're looking for, why we're looking for it, where we're headed, where we're going and where we came because of all of you. Um, but let, so if you guys get a chance, I put the link below. I think it's over here again. I could put it again. No, that's a different one. But the Indiegogo link is there. Um, so give it give it a look. Give it a try. But um, special thanks. You know, some people just can't 
uh, do too much, even just sharing it or like it. And, and also, guys, uh, commenting on the YouTube trailer would be great. We're going to have more posters and more stuff coming up. This is just the beginning. Um, but there's the laugh poster, the Oscar edition, where we're at the Oscar Awards, which is where the movie ends up. We got a digital super pack. If nobody wants anything physical, there will be a soundtrack, a poster, um, the movie, um, graphics you can download, DVD for all you DVD fanatics. Um, I, I threw that DVD in there because I know you guys love it. Uh, combo pack of poster and Blu-ray. Like I said, they will be more posters and more pictures and things to come. Um, laugh Blu-ray with special features. That'll be like the manifest edition. We'll have a whole another second disc, which will have everything we have behind the scenes. We have GoPro footage. We had two different people doing behind the scenes just for this five day shoot. We'll have even more from Afghanistan and so on and so forth. This gentleman right here is playing Calypso and what a great job he's been doing. John A. Ravenhall. Um, he's actually a small role in vengeance one. Uh, Cody Newton recommended to me when we replaced our original clown actor, and I can't imagine anybody else doing a better job. He absolutely nailed it, John Ravenhall. Uh, signed Blu-ray by this meathead over here, if you're looking for that one. Uh, combo Blu-ray pack with the uh, poster and the Blu-ray, 65. Um, laugh signed by Terry Kaiser, the man himself. He, he plays my father, Bartholomew uh collymore in here uh the laugh the full script if you guys ever seen how i do the scripts they're pretty neat they're not like the regular boring basic script uh the possession blu-ray um that'll be signed by myself terry kaiser john ravenall we're going to add some more actors some big name actors and that'll probably be signed by them too so it'll be more than that then the blood red script like i did for roseblood that one's on there here we go be an actor you can be in the film for $250. We'll be shooting most of it or all of it in Connecticut. There's some scenes in New York, but that's more the bridge and a location. I don't think we have any acting roles there. It's more walking around. But be an actor for $250, you get an IMDb credit on this major film. Um, we have zero of 10. We got a lot of those. Uh, be an actor with lines. Speak with me. Speak with other people. I don't have it exactly figured out yet. But that one's huge. I mean, we're, you'll be lit like a pro, makeup like a pro. You'll have three different cameras on you. You'll have your own walk-in um, uh, footage. You'll have your interactions with people. It'll be a major, major uh, scene for you. You'll get an IMDb credit. It'll be a big thing. Like I said, we're we're hoping that this goes to the movie movie theaters. That's kind of the connection that we have now that they're telling us. So this is a big deal. We're kind of going past the fan film world. Uh, be killed on screen, a thousand dollars. Uh, and that'll be huge. That That's not an off-screen kill. That's not, oh, we slit your throat. That's me and Jason Brooks sitting down, looking at the person and designing a kill from scratch. And if you've seen Rosebud with the face rip, if you've seen John Strang with his hand rip, if you've seen anything the way we do kills designed, it's going to be along those lines. And any prosthetics you'll be, be able to keep also from, from being killed on screen. Associate producer, um, I'll do more videos on this. Being on set and getting premiere tickets and, and stuff is amazing. We had a gentleman, uh, um, oh man, I forgot his last name. It's Riley Bartolomo, I think, Bartolome. And he was on set for three days and he absolutely loved it. You get to have lunch with us. You get to see how everything's made. You get to talk to the actors. You get to see behind the scenes. And we even put you in the behind the scenes. And you'll have pictures and videos of yourself and you'll be in the behind the scenes footage also. We have the co-producer, which basically you get more VIP tickets, more days on set, a couple more extra things. And then we have the executive producer, uh, $10,000, and that's everything. You get a Blu-ray, a movie, a script. You get four VIP premiere tickets. You get the signed possession. You get signed Blu-ray, signed script, signed poster, your name's in the credit, your logo in the credit, four days on set, everything. And you get that IMDb credit. Um, so that's that's what we have for now. Like I said, if you stay on by the end of tonight slash tomorrow, I will be putting up the military ones um, so you can check those out. And we'll be putting up more and more and more. There's going to be pictures. Let me see if I can stop screen. There's going to be pictures of Terry Kaiser signed. There's going to be pictures of myself signed. There's going to be uh, pictures of John Ravenhall in Calypso makeup signed. I mean, we have some amazing. Should I show pictures? Should I show pictures? And then we have this thing, which is actually the actual head designed by Jason Brooks and Real Fiction Studios of the clown with the tongue, with the operating train TV track with rotating eyes. See this eye? The eyes rotate. I'm doing it all wrong. Look at that. 
Look at the eyes. The tongue moves. The eyes move. It's got a, a tube for blood and smoke. It is absolutely amazing. That'll eventually be on there. That's going to be like at least a thousand dollars signed by John Ravenholt, signed by myself, signed by Real Fiction Studios. Um, we're going to have so many more things than this. We're going to have my actual outfit with the tie with the blood in it that you see as the Reaper. You're going to have uh, Friday 13th masks with the Reaper logo on it. So we're just starting it right now. Um, it's amazing. It, it, it's really going good. We're really, 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 really excited about it. Um, I'm falling behind on comments. Hopefully, yeah, we're going to sell it, Cody. We're going to sell that. Uh, I don't want to sell it. Uh, Brooks just thinks I'm crazy to sell it. But I don't know, man. I, I just, I love the fans, you know. And, I, and look at me, everywhere I went and signed stuff and got stuff signed. What's better, Cody, than us making a movie and somebody wanting a part of it? You know what I'm saying? Like, I have the memories. I have the movie. Why not give it to a fan? I mean, th this was a design that I came up with in my head. Uh, we can't really give it away yet, but it is an insane scene uh, in the movie. And uh, I definitely, I want a fan to have it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So what'd you guys think of the trailer, man? Death Curse Society. What's going on? What'd you guys think of the trailer? Ho hopefully you loved it. Joanna, what's going on? Um, yeah, exactly, Cody. Think of Rosebud Kills. Those were fun and next level. That'll be like what you guys are looking at here um, for, for the designs of the kills. And the other thing too, without giving away too much, um, this person, Peter Collymore, when he becomes the Reaper, the Reaper doesn't carry a machete. The Reaper doesn't have a, a gun. The Reaper doesn't have a knife. The Reaper kills with his hands. All the Reaper's kills are with his hands. That's what makes us different in this movie than others. So all these designs that me and Jason are coming up with are all hand kills. Body to body, mouth, tongue, teeth, eyes, head, elbows, knees, just just insane visceral realistic life death like really just beating someone to death and you see a little bit of that in a trailer when i pull the gentleman up and the blood squirting out his mouth uh jeff one of the actors there this is what this movie is going to be so when you always talk about like jason kills when you talk about reaper kills it's going to be hand -day. did you see how they did that did you see that that real life stuff that's exactly what we're going for 100 uh, percent let's see what's going on jerry what's up my friend Thanks, Q. Hey, Q, if you want, I'll uh, I'll fire this off to you, and you can hop on, and we could talk about you being on set, or if uh, Cody wanted to hop on, if my maybe if my internet actually works, which it's not right now. One second. But yeah, Q, if you wanted to hop on, you could do that. And Cody, if you wanted to hop on for a minute. You can hop on yourself too, sir. You don't have to. Don't worry. But it just gives me an excuse to, to stop talking so much. So those invites are sent. Um, thanks, Jerry. Let's see here. Token. Love the trailer. Can't wait for the movie. It was intense. Thanks, man, so much. Yeah, Cody, hop on, bro. Is the Indiegogo live now? Yes, it is, sir. It is live right now. Let me copy and post, paste it right here. Bang. That is the Laugh Indiegogo Live right now. Like I said, I'm going to be adding more and more as, as the weeks go on. This is a 120, 150-day um, fundraiser. We're going to be shooting in September in, in uh, Connecticut, and then we have to shoot in Boise, Idaho for, for those other scenes. Um, yeah, it did it twice. That's weird. Poncho, let's see. Joe Caban. Poncho's not cleaning the blood in the bathroom. Great job on the trailers, guys. Incredible editing, Cody. Yes, excellent job. Uh, Joe Caban played, um, oh, my God, Julius uh, um, in, in Rosebud. He was the janitor cleaning up the blood all the time and got his uh, face ripped off. Thanks so much, Jesse. I really, really appreciate it. Um, the link won't let me in. Let me see. Oh, you know what, guys? I apologize. Um, you know, me being terrible. Um, I have to eventually go and, and I think I have to pre review and launch my apologies. Give you one second. Review and launch. I'm such an idiot. Almost ready to go. Basics. I apologize. It's saying I'm missing something. That would be Connecticut. Review and launch. Okay, that's going to be 60 days. 
review and launch. I apologize. Um, bear with me, gentlemen. Um, I'm trying to get it to launch, and I forgot that I have to do 100 things. So, yeah, unbelievable. Um, but I'll get as soon as we get out of here, I'll, I'll put the link back up, and, and we'll do it there. Me and the wife would love to be in the movie. Token, I'd love to have you in the movie. Technology, Peter. <laughs> Bro, I'm an idiot. I forgot that you got to go live. Please confirm final information. Connect, change your settings. No, 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 no. You're, let, me, let me go back here one second. While we are doing this, I apologize. Let's see if I can campaign editor, team settings, perks, items, team, um, funding. One second. It's uh it launched. Holy cow, oh, check out these gentlemen. Look at these guys. What's going on? What up, what up man? What is going on? Hey, everybody. Man, I, <laughs> I'm so terrible with this thing, bro. I never have anything set up or right. I'm always last minute with everything. You figure I'd have my shit together, but I don't. All right, so Technology here's the link. I'm going to post it to you guys. Go ahead. Technology is a fickle thing. It's hard. <laughs> I forgot. Like, I have to hit review to launch. That, that should be it right there. Uh, everybody, the last Indiegogo that I put for some reason it doubles it when I put it on, but yeah, yeah. So, Cody Newton, me and you what worked up? on this for a couple months. Uh, how how do you feel? About yeah, well, this? you worked on it for that long. <laughs> you, <laughs> I, 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 I washed my hands in November when we finished it because I was like, okay. Uh, and I was working on my own feature film, so I didn't really step in, but yeah. You brought me back in to make the trailer, and I'm I'm glad you did because I mean that thing has so much flavor to it. I mean you could watch that eight times in a row and still keep picking out things, <laughs> uh, you know what's exciting about the film um, and stuff like that. I love. I mean, there's so much range in this thing. You are in Siberia. You're in the club. You're with Terry. You're with the uh, Calypso. You're with all kinds of stuff. But really, when, when you found the music for it, it really spoke to what a Peter Anthony production, you know, an original film is going to be like. And I think that's what's really exciting about it. it thanks. And I'll get to you, Q, in a minute, too. And, and for those who don't know, me and Cody, uh, I'm not an easy person to work with. <laughs> I have this bad combination mm -hmm. where I'm a perfectionist. I think you'll agree with this, Cody. And I have no patience. So when you put those together, then yeah, I always want the most perfect well. thing immediately. And, mm -hmm. and then when we don't get that, I get pissed. You have this uh, relationship or genesis of working on things that just is terrible where it starts. And then it, when, it, when I finally get somewhere, it's a really beautiful thing. And yeah. we have an amazing song by Jessica Hopman, who also sang the Roseblood song, The New Blood. She sang a song on here that is even better than that song. It is amazing. But we tried to make the trailer fit that and fit other songs. It just didn't work. I told Cody, you know, F it. I'm going to go online. I found a club song. And then I found this crazy dubstep oh, song. He and we were like, he's like, no way. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. And he made it work. We made it work, whatever. And 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 it, and it now that when you look back at it, you're like, that's what it needed all along. It needed that over-the-top, crazy-in-your-face flavor. And look, and the visuals are just amazing, the colors. Yeah. Yeah, watch, uh, watch it in 4K. <laughs> yeah, and, and by the way, Christopher Inlow, uh, for everyone watching, this actor, this gentleman right here, was my number one choice. He knows this. I reached out to him to play <laughs> Ivan, who is that Russian Siberian prison a prisoner who has the horrible scars on his face, who's chained up in the beginning and later on in that film. And I saw Christopher in Voorhees. I worked with him on Voorhees for a one day shoot. And I always told him I wanted him from the get go. He was always somebody that was going to be in my film and not, not everyone knew him. Not everyone didn't know what I was doing. And then after the performance of Christopher, who by the way, was stuck locked in there for a while, <laughs> and everybody said, what a phenomenal job. I bought these yeah. really 1950 vintage uh, Ukrainian Russian handcuffs because I wanted <laughs> it to be accurate. And, you know, I, I messed with them. They worked. Everything was great. 
we put Christopher in them in this little U horn thing and everything was great. And then he, I think he got out of them once and then he got mm -hmm. back in them, tried to get out of them again and they wouldn't open. We had mm -hmm. to go to the local police station <laughs> and get a cop to come with a master key to, mm -hmm. to let him out of it. So that, that was great. That he was, was a champ for that though. Yo. He, he was a good sport about it. He was, he was. Thank you, Apex. Uh, trailer looks amazing. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Hey, Val, what's going on? It's working now. Excellent. Sorry. Yeah, I forgot that I had to hit the go live on it. I'm an idiot. Um, so, Cody, it's okay. we'll get to Q in one minute. Are you are you, are you mad that I'm selling this? I am mad. I, I think, in a way, it's priceless. Uh, it's hard. I, you know, I can't. I couldn't put a value on that because, I mean, that was a lot of fun to shoot with. We're shooting inside. We're using a pro blends, going through it, up and around it, and... It's pretty cool how it's used in the movie, but you're just going to have to wait for that, people. <laughs> yes. And Q, you have a picture there uh, that shows me and you in the club. Uh, so Jaquin Broden plays a Judas, who is a really good friend of mine in the film. And we have a club scene together. It's Halloween. Therefore, my makeup and, and Q is dressed up as, as none other than the ghost face killer um, from Scream. Um, and... How, how did you, how, first of all, how, that picture's pretty mint, right, bud? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's, it's actually my screensaver right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was a pretty cool how, how shot. Was it, like, tell them how it was. Everybody loved you. I mean, there's only a few lovable, lovable characters in Rosebud. I think you and, and Caban are, are some of, are two of those, right? I'd say, Cody, not really everyone's lovable. Um, everybody loved your performance and loved Caban. So how was it flying out here in Connecticut? sleeping on my couch for about a week. And if you can, without, you know, how was your scene? I know we're not going to give too much away, but how mm -hmm. was your scene in, in there mm -hmm. in the club? Yeah, I was happy this time when I came out to Connecticut, I slept on the couch instead of, you know, I was locked out before. <laughs> it, it's probably right, more comfortable than what it we was way more. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was way more comfortable, though. Um, yeah, um, yeah, came out, you know what I'm saying, uh, did multiple roles on this film, laugh, um, you know, kind of like script supervisor, kind of putting everything together, uh, a big production assistant, slated, acted in the mm -hmm. film. Um, it was it was a lot of hard work that I wouldn't change one second in, in the world for. I mean, we were we just went those five days straight, I think, and without, without hardly any sleep. And um, it, it was fun. I would love I would love to do it all over again. But my scene, man, I had this is the most fun I ever had acting. You know what I'm saying? Um, on on a film, yeah, I love the Duke, but the Duke I had to be the character, you know, like Duke, and I had to you know really hone into it. it took me a while, as you guys know, but this one. I, I just like, okay, I'm going to have fun here. You know what I'm saying? I get to play Ghostface, and I'm sitting next to this crazy dude with this makeup like that. So, like, I was going to have fun with this role. And I had I had, I had, had a ball, man. It was, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I was the most comfortable acting i ever been on. And, and thank you so much for letting me be a part of your dream. So, I had a ball, Cody Newton, you know, working with them guys, learning from them, looking at lights and stuff. Man, I just... It's, it's awesome. Q, Q um, let's let's be honest, okay? You got to act around all of these young ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've I've never been in a. Uh, I, don't, I don't, you know, it's a little awkward for me because it's like, hey, here's a booty. Let's let's get a close up of that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah. didn't mind that at all. <laughs> yeah. that, that was pretty nice. Was there, like, there's there's a part there in a couple of pictures where Q has got two girls on each arm. With two other girls in scantily clad clothing serving him and girls behind him dancing. And he yeah. was the man there for a little while. You see why I had so much fun on set. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Cody, if, if you can speak on. So uh, there's a scene um, with this clown, and there's another scene where I had this vision of the camera following coming out of the mouth, and another scene of camera really close to somebody taking drugs and stuff, different than the one what you guys saw. And then Cody said to me, well, we can just get a probe lens. And, you know, I don't know that stuff. And he's like, I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> and and we went and found this probe lens and rented it. And, man, if you could explain that, Cody, I think it was one of your first times working with it and how those scenes came out. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, obviously, I know a lot of the camera stuff, but I am a director first. And I wanted to use a probe lens in my film 259 because it's about a demon who kind of haunts an, an apartment complex. And so we were going to shoot some of these really close things, almost like the demon was like – investigating the body of this person and but we never did it uh it just didn't seem like it fit the story right so when you said that it clicked perfectly like 
hey, I want to I want to go through a mouth, you know, and Jason was making this thing and and I was like, oh, yeah, we get to use a pro lens. Thank goodness. And you got really excited about it. And now you're like, hey, what other lenses are there? What what else can we do? It's really exciting. But I mean, shooting Terry was a lot of fun because I mean, he can cry on cue. So we would be like zooming in on him and then we go right up to his eye, you know, the size of what my hand is right there. And he'd be he'd shed a tear right there. And it's like, oh, man, this is this is kind of the dream to be able to have a team like this that can do everything. You got the acting, you have the the production design, and now we have a cool lens too. <laughs> yeah, and th that that was that scene when you guys see the trailer. If you watch again, when the uh, Terry's doing the drugs and the camera comes right to his eye, you can actually see the gleam off his eyeball. That is that that probe lens. And and to Cody's point about him crying, this is something that's very hard for me. But with Terry, if you if you watch the dailies. Uh, Cody and Q, uh, he does that scene where the camera comes through the mouth and goes to his face. He did it three or four times. And I said, hey, uh, Mr. Kaiser, can you cry on this one? And bang, two seconds later, he's doing the same face, except he added in a tear. He didn't even get ready for it. He just did it. It's just wow. a different level of acting that we, when we're on set, we're just like, damn, man. That guy's great. Yeah. <laughs> he is great. I, I like this Christopher Elo. He gets all the girls and I get handcuffed by dudes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, and and how much how much time was he in makeup, Chris? How long were you in makeup? Yeah, Christopher, how long were you in makeup? Oh man, that was uh, Death Curse. Got a couple of Blu rays and a poster. It looks like I was first. Hell yeah, Death Curse. Awesome. Our friends, Death Curse. Thank you so much, guys. I really really appreciate that. Oh, look at this, Jason Brooks, the immortal. Terry is Ooh. the man. Terry is the man. He's one of my favorite actors I've ever worked with. Lars is a lot of fun too. I just want to work with her more. Yeah. Yeah, T Terry does it like we could put Terry in a shack and he'd be okay. With it. <laughs> yeah, you know, mm -hmm. not that we ever would. Yeah, oh, wild. look at this! Look at this person! Look at this person right here, Jessica Hopman. Trailer looks awesome. Thanks so much, Jessica. Up, yeah. Hey, the song is awesome. I wish I really yeah. wish we could have made it work, but you know what? It's going to be just as impactful in the movie. And, and, I, and I think it'll find its way into the trailer because the real trailer will have more story behind it. Oh, that yeah, yeah that's you true. Can definitely start off with it for sure. Mm -hmm. Hey, so can I can I say a little bit about the Indiegogo itself? Uh, one, you one have second. a lot. Thank you, Lar, yeah. very much. Lar Park Lincoln Actors uh, Audition Woo! Studio. Let's get it. Thank you so much, Lar. I really appreciate it. Sorry. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. Um, th there is something to say about uh, the, <laughs> for lack of a better word, the party that you put on uh, during these movies. So if somebody wants to come be on set, if somebody wants to be an actor or whatever, uh, first of all, we can assure you that the quality of the movie itself is going to be top tier. So, you know, I think it was, what, 250 bucks to come act in the movie? Holy moly, that is a steal because not only, you know, am I shooting it on a brand new tech and all kinds of stuff, but Peter is so meticulous about sound. He, he loves it, it to sound right. You know, how many times have you ever been in a movie and it just – it just falls flat because they aren't quite doing it right. You're going to be doing it right. Um, man, and you can get killed by Real Fiction Studios for a thousand bucks. Goodness gracious. It just, to me, nope. you're underselling yourself a little bit. But I just want to make sure everyone really realizes that, that these, these are different than other people's, you know, stuff. We really are trying to push what indie films can do instead of just that oh, we're just an indie film. Yeah. And, and to touch on that before I hit Chris Inslow and ask you a question too, um, it, it is different without trying to sound um, uh, cocky or above people and stuff like that. If you've ever worked on set, you can ask Clifton Taylor, you can ask Jessica, you can ask anybody on set. You're, when you come to set, you're going to be like family. We treat everybody like family. We feed everybody like family. We take care of everybody. And we really, really, really will go out of the way to make your shot great. I mean, we spent five or six shots on a selfie shot inside the club where Cody was on. What were you on? Uh, some ladder or something. Or no, on no, a no, selfie no. shot? We were on that, that no, I see what you're saying. I'm riding a hoverboard with a hoverboard. gimbal. 
Yeah, he's oh, yeah. rolling back and forth to get this motion shot while he's holding the camera for this person who's on that scene just to get a selfie inside the club to make it real. We don't, this isn't some backyard movie. We don't just throw you in there and kick you out. You're part of the family. You might go eat with us after. You're going to be hanging out with the actors, talking to Terry Kaiser, talking to people. It is a steal. And and you're right. I, I could charge more and I, I could make it better. But like I said in the video, if you go to the Indiegogo, this is the last <laughs> time I'm probably going to do an Indiegogo. So I really want to pull in as much of the, the, the fans and friends that I can. Um, and yeah. Inslow answered. I want to say I was up at 2 a.m. or maybe that's when we're supposed to be up, but it started being applied at 4 a.m. Oh, wow. And you didn't, I Goodness. think it was five hours. Goodness. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think we started at nine. Most and it just hung have, out there for 12 hours, whatever. <laughs> Laura, most indies have bad sound. Y'all did it right. Thank you so much, Laura. I, oh, wow. I, we spent so much time on that. And then food, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I love the food that we had. That was because of Tammy. <laughs> we got to get that all to. to oh Tammy. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Joke. Oh yeah, Joe Caban. I had my cousins on set, and you guys made it one of the best experiences. Joe Caban's cousins all showed up to the set, and he we actually let him slate a couple of the films with Terry Kaiser. Did one with him also. Which was oh funny. yeah, I remember oh, that. Was right. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, it's really he, like a family. He did it in like a broken Italian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like a, a broken Italian language. Apex, you guys made me feel welcome. Then I was always part of the team. Appreciate you. Apex, which oh, that's Clifton Taylor, bro. Oh, oh I forgot Taylor. that. Clifton. I got the Dude, we want you all the time. Yeah, Clifton Taylor, by the way, guys, was awesome. a, another gentleman who paid to be a role. Not only was he in the role more than you thought, he's on screen more than you thought. He's he took up other roles, really, really helped out with the film. Uh, he hung out at my house with me later. Like he's he's a great guy. It's it's that family atmosphere. It's really, it's really uh, no price on it. And you get an IMDb credit with major actors in the film. It's really really something special, I think. Um, but so um, Q, um, what what was it like uh, seeing me yell at? How was it like me seeing me yell at you and other girls in that scene? Because there, there's that scene right in the trailer where I say, "Give it to me." And I'm yelling yeah. at girls and, and going crazy. Was that, is that were you not scared because you knew it was me or were you okay with that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember the scene at first and then it was, it, it, it was, um, it was uh, turned up to around a seven and a half. It was like, give it to me. And then I think Cody was like, Cody. oh, bro, you got you, you to gotta turn that up to a 10, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? One of the rare times he tells me I got to be meaner. Like, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got yeah. to gotta be meaner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was pondering to myself thinking, can we get a little more sniveling anger from Peter Anthony? Because you yeah. do it all the time on Marco. Oh, these degenerates, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I do, Facts. I do. Facts, and, though, and, but like when that happened, though, like um, when you took it up to ten, you could hear a pin drop, bro. It was it was so quiet. You could hear a pin drop. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. It was so effective, and I kind of shook a little bit too. I peed a little too. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> and just for those who don't know, we probably did. Cody, what, five or six times of me doing the fake cocaine, which is inositol powder, which is basically a vitamin B formula. It's actually the real powder that cocaine is cut with on the streets, supposedly. Um, and I had to sniff that about five or six times, including what, well, I won't give it away, but including with something you're not supposed to sniff. And my nose was all jammed up, and I was in a, a crazy spot at the end of that scene, for sure. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Great. Um, yeah, and, and we were trying to get focus. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So, so many crazy. We were in a strip club and it's owned by a mafia guy. And we ran over by about 15 minutes. And uh, I was told that I had to hand 500 or $600 to a person immediately or there'd be a problem. So whatever we paid for that place, I had to hand them more just because we ran late. Um, but hey, it was worth it. That was a that was a good thing. And, and we go to the we go to the strip club. We're all setting up. We barely have we barely sleep. We're doing AM yeah, PM like, shoots. Yeah, like an and I go time. I go looking for somewhere to change. It's the back room, you know, the back room, like the champagne room in the strip club that <laughs> the boom room and stuff that stuff's going on that you don't want to be sitting on. And Jaquint scared the shit out of me. Q is sleeping with his head on the goddamn fabric like this with his tongue out drooling when I go to take off my shirt. I scared the shit out of me. I thought he was some, like, holdover or some bum that, like, <laughs> he was laying on that nasty couch. He didn't give a shit. Oh, man. I was tell, sleeping. Tell man. that story, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, I think we had, like, a. I think we shot all night to a brown, like, uh, yeah, around 1130, 1145. So I really got out of there at 12 and then went right back to the strip club like an hour later. 
So I just thought like I bring in equipment and try to catch a little nap. Like I, I, I was so tired at that point. I was just like, I'm just going to quit. Nobody catch me here. And then you, the one room that uh, I was trying so to far. hide, you come in. Yeah. And no one would <laughs> ever go in that room. It was so yeah. far back, like off yeah. the path. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah that was great. Like, you, you were so happy you were sleeping in there, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Just, you know, a couple, couple yeah. 15 minutes. We got yeah. Marcel was sleeping. Ryan was sleeping. Don was sleeping. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Couple that's okay we were just shooting at a, in a bathroom so it's pretty tight and honestly i'm glad there weren't a lot of people in there mm-hmm. yeah yeah mm-hmm. um all right so back to the shooting so we're gonna shoot again q we changed the dates we're gonna shoot in september i think 9th to the 21st so we're, we're gonna shoot mm-hmm. in new york and then me and cody at some point got to go to afghanistan which is boise idaho and we're gonna wrap up shooting and then we're gonna go to connecticut horror fest where we're gonna have a 20 foot wide by 10 foot deep table uh, we're going to be promoting Snow White and Laugh, and a bunch of us. We're all going to be there, and I'm going to rent out a room yeah, at Connecticut cool. Horror Fest, and we're going to have a rap party. Some people will be invited. Some oh, people man. Won't. Okay? So mm-hmm. big rap party with the actors from Connecticut Horror Fest. Um, it's going to be a great time. Come visit us at Connecticut Horror Fest. We'll have a ton of more stuff by then for Death of Snow White and for Laugh. Q will be there. Cody will be there. It, we'll really, really have a great time. My dad oh, will probably be there time. running the show. Oh, you yeah. Know. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> yeah, my dad will like have like five vendors like doing favors. For him, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, remember we ran out of page uh paper protect or poster holders. He's like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, Johnny, I'll four. I'll be right back. He like <laughs> come back yeah, full of the bully. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, full. yeah, he's a great guy, bro. Uh, token saying I loved you as the Duke. That was a badass character. Oh, thank you so much, man. That's an honor to me because I was just trying to look it up to the other uh, Duke uh, before him and just try to put a little my taste on it, you know. So th- I thank you very much. <laughs> and let's see if we can hold on one second. Let me try to share this again. So present, share screen, share screen. Um, that's a no. So how do we get to that one? That's a no. Yeah, I don't. Let's see if I pull this up. If it comes up, one second. That that Connecticut Horror Fest. I mean, that's if people could schedule their acting and then go to the fest with. I mean, that's yeah, that's pretty fun. Great, great point. Great point. Let's share screen. Hey, hey, Pete. Thanks for having me on. I think I got to bounce to the, uh, uh, right quick to this other one. You know. Um, yeah. No problem, man. We'll, we'll talk to you later. Yeah, I'll talk to you. I'm working around after. Nice seeing you, Cody, man. Trailer's Love fire. Love it, Q. Give it fire. to me. <laughs> Give it to me. See you, man. All right, guys. Peace. Peace. Bro, when I go to share screen, for some reason, it doesn't let me uh, share. Let, let me see if I can share a video file. One second. Just want to show some of the people that are part of the. Here we go. No, that's a no. And that's a no. It doesn't let me do graphics. All right. Forget it. I was gonna. I don't know why it doesn't. Let me try. Let me see what happens, Cody. Let me go present. Okay. Let me go here. Let me. I guess YouTube. So now it's showing my YouTube. So if I click over here, is it changing or no? It's no. flickering. Yeah, we're gonna stop. I right, forget that. But that that was it. I don't know if you had anything. Let me see here, Connecticut. Horror Fest. Hmm. Yeah, Death Curse, man. If you want, I can talk to uh, Larry and Rob who run it and see if we can get your show in there. You, Cody, you know that they do that that show now around the world? Oh, yeah. Around the US. Yeah, so they've had a lot of success with that. So if you want, I could talk to them about that. Um, Larry, I'll probably talk to him later. So let me know on that. Uh, Q might need some penicillin. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Movies and Beyond, what's up, man? Yeah, if you guys don't forget to like, share, and comment under the the trailer. Like I said, more stuff's going to come live in the next few weeks. We're going to have videos. We're going to have a a whole bunch of more stuff. I just wanted to announce this and get it out there. And I think that's about it. The Death of Snow White. Um, When do we we shoot that again, Cody? Uh, July and August, I think, is when that's going to happen. But there's a lot that has to happen before that, before we get there. So the death of Snow White, that's the other large film that uh, I just say we as a team are working on. Uh, Sean Lutis and Jason are in the midst of building a village and a castle right now on property because that's the way Sean rolls. And that movie is going to be absolutely amazing, too, with uh, Sanaya and so many more people involved. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jason Brooks wrote a great script. 
Cody will be shooting that also. And Cody has 259, which I think he just finally wrapped uh, extra shots up yeah. uh, yesterday, day before. Uh, yeah, it was uh, the day before the Super Bowl. Uh, you know, we just shot some pickup shots. You know, there's just dumb little, hey, I just want a quick reaction shot here. And then we just changed the ending just a little bit. It got some really, really cool stuff out of it. So I'm I'm happy with it. I'm getting to picture lock tonight. So that's exciting. Then you're going to send it off to the sound master. Yeah, I'll give it to you once the sound is like ready. But no, we're going to send it to composing first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm not doing that. Um, so so that's it. Uh, I'm trying to think of something else I had in my brain, but I don't remember. Thanks so much for everybody joining on. Make sure to go to Indiegogo. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Yeah. Share share it with everyone. We're really proud of it. We as a team have really listened to everybody. We went from the fan films, and now we're really trying to do our own. We'll have basically three released in 2025 with 259, Laugh, The Death of Snow White, and then there's more coming after that. So we're trying to make our dreams come true, and we need your help with, with this project for sure. Thank you so much for watching the trailer thank you so much for commenting on the trailer and thank you for supporting with the indiegogo i really appreciate it anything else to say my my friend that's it thank you so thank you so much guys thank you peter for editing this in seven days like we like we hoped yeah. <laughs> i love it i i'm excited to share it I'm, i've been waiting to share it so that, yeah. i'm gonna immediately get on and start sharing on all the socials death curse if you want us on let us know. We would love to come on for anything. We could talk about 259. Oh, Death, for sure. Uh, Death of Snow White. Uh, uh, laugh for sure, obviously. Um, let us know. We I know you guys are booked like a month out, but we would love to come on at any point. Let us know. Awesome. For sure. I'll see you guys later. Cody, thanks for hopping on. Back to editing. See you guys. See you.